wedge this into the steering wheel here. Okay. These came in yesterday. If you don't know... Well, lads, uh, just jumping in here really quickly at the start of the video, just to let you guys know that, or the context for this, uh, in this video, I'm installing the front bash bar on the car, and also the little things which you just saw me put up on screen, which basically kind of hold up the bumper uh, onto the car without using nuts and bolts, so it's easy to take on and off. Uh, also, please note, the next two videos are two months behind the stuff right now. Like right now, I've already welded the diff in the car, and the car back down, so yeah. What these are, these are my quick bumper disconnects that I want to put on the front and rear bumper. Now, I originally, on Amazon, I bought these on Amazon, and I tried ordering the ones with no, none of the lettering on them, but they came with the lettering, so uh, it does say PWJDM, and this is a German car, but I really couldn't give two shits. If I really wanted to, I could probably paint these. But so basically, we're doing quick disconnects on the front and rear bumper. When I'm doing the front bumper. We're going to install the bash bar as well, so you guys can see that. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna actually show you guys uh, what I do that, how I do that. But it's gonna be time lapse. Uh, I'll show you guys the bash bar. This is my phone. I was done. I was so tired last night. So here is our dash bar, right here. So this thing, oh my God, wind, rain, run. Trying to hit the cart, try and get in more sheltered area to explain. So this thing I got with the six cylinder car, more just spare parts. So I know that it's a secret And that I gotta keep it But I want the lights on Yeah, I want the lights on And I don't wanna run away anymore Leave the lights on Leave the lights on Leave the lights on Basically, it's a bit dusty because it's been sitting. Uh, it was like this kind of blue, but I painted it just matte black. Um, it's nice black. It actually, looks really shiny on camera. It's a bit dusty because it's been sitting in storage for a while. Uh, I don't even know if this will even fit my car, but let's see. So now we're going to go through and take off the front bumper. Okay, so the bumper is gone. It is off. So now we need to take out these bajublis and then we'll have to get 
take out all those lovely bejumblies and draw out these rivets in there and then slide on the new bumper ah this is painful it's also raining so I probably shouldn't be doing this in the rain but who gives two funny bucks Okay, so as you just saw, we just had to put on the crash bar here, and the car is up on a jack, but I'm still gonna do this anyway. It's on there. Pretty little good. So now. I'd also like to mention one more thing with that clip. Um, it was my first time ever drifting with a welded diff. Nobody was hurt. The car that I did hit was my dad's, and his car wasn't damaged at all. All that was wrong with my car was the bash bar guard bent, and the bonnet was bent, and the grill thingy fell out. That's it. I was fine. My dad was recording. My dad's perfectly fine. The car is a scrap car anyway. So don't get angry. Don't get worried. This won't happen again. Let's just say I put way too much fucking throttle into that car. I'm used to driving open diff cars where you need to drift and put the hammer down to drive these fuckers. So that's why I had the hammer down. If you know me, full send or no send. So, yeah, um, just thought I'd explain that instead of people rumbling off. So, yeah, I am a safe driver. I know I've learned my lesson now. Uh, if anyone has a bonnet for an e blacky bonnet for an E46, hit me up. Oh. What I have to try and do is put everything back together. Uh, I'm gonna put on the headlights, back on the headlights and stuff. I've cut out, probably just saw me cut out loads of plastic shielding so that there'll be more airflow to the radiator and to the intercooler. So I'm gonna do now is put the lights back on, the wheel back on and then try and mount up the bumper. Uh, I also need to take the crash bar out of the bumper um, and then find somewhere else to put these horns as well. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. So yeah, let's get back to it, back to the timeline. And the little trims underneath all back in the car. I think it looks pretty darn nice. I'm not gonna close the bonnet just actually now nah, I'm not gonna close it just yet. So now I gotta try and take the crash bar and the horns out of this. Which I'm not too fussed about because This looks so sick. Mm, I love that. So cool. Alright. Anyways, let's get to that. Okay, so I just oh I just nearly tripped. I just went in and eat I ate eat eat it. Ate. Um so that's why so that's why this looks a bit different. So let me explain what I'm just about to do in this time lapse. I'm just about to take out this bash bar. And these are actually fake. The, what are we called? The lights are fake. So what I'm tempted to do is take them off and spray paint them yellow and then draw a little smiley face inside of them. I think that that would actually kind of look kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do in this small time lapse. I also broke, so this is my tripod. And I used to have, you know, the, the little car hold, phone holders that you put on your air vent? I broke that. Um, so my new solution is I have this, which is basically, it slit, slides in, in between the two seats on a BMW, an E46. And then phone holder goes there and basically records in-car footage. Basically going to adapt this to go onto this. 
uh, for today so I can get reporting. No! The door just flew open. How did it do that? Is the car okay? Car's fine. How did you manage that? Little bollocks. Back in you go. Come on. No. You fucking bitch. Come on. No. There we go. Okay. So anyways, let's get to that. Okay, so the crash report is out. Uh, I got the trim pieces back in. They're not exactly straight, but I don't know. We'll iron that out at some other point. I just want it back together so I can put it on. I also broke the screws for the license plates were just not coming off, so I just forced it and broke it out. I'll just buy new ones. The car needed new plates anyways. They're all cracked up. So, this is just my excuse to buy new ones. So, now we're going to go try and fit up the plate. Fit up the plate. Fit up the bumper and see how it fits. Probably not going to fit first time. I'm, I'm also going to paint these guys, uh, so I think I might do that now and then go fit it on. So, finally, we have these little guys. They're on. Yay! Holds the bumper on. It doesn't look pretty. But I'm trying to make this thing look nice-ish. It's going to be a drift car. I found out that there's Bondo in here when I drilled the hole, so I kind of fucked it up. But, again, this car, it's going to be a drift car. It's not a missile car, it's a drift car. There's missile, drift, show car. Missile car, drift car is where this thing's going to be. So yeah, basically from here on out, uh, everything else is just basically wiring. Mounting the hydro, welding different coilovers. So that's kind of it for filming, I'd say. Um, I'll do my little filmy updates, but I won't film my time lapses and stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know what episode this will be, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a good one and get excited because when summer comes, we're going to be drifting. Maybe even before summer, we might get drifting as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys all later. Jesus Christ.